All right, we are rotating a segment this time. So first graph the segment x, y as 0, negative 1 for x. And y is going to be at 3, 1. Okay. It says rotate with a 270 degree clockwise about 0 0.31. So 0 0.31 is where y is. So we're rotating around that point there. And the first thing we need is to remember 270 degrees clockwise was the same as what kind of rotation? 90 degrees. Good, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So what was that rule from yesterday? Switch the y, so opposite of y, comma what? X, just regular x. So we are going to draw your new x and y axes over point P, the rotation point. Okay, and then we're going to find x according to that new origin. So where is x at according to that new origin? Negative 3, negative 2. Then we apply the rule. So opposite of y, x would turn this point into what? Opposite of y is 2. And then the x is negative 3. So 2, negative 3 would be right here on the new origin. So if you guys take your patty paper and you would have sketched your x and y axes according to the new axis and sketch your segment, rotated it 90 degrees counterclockwise, kind of you end up there. You guys use your, or counterclockwise, sorry. Did you guys end up there? Yeah. With the patty paper. Yeah. All right. So the trick, remember, is to actually write the coordinates based on the original axis. So where is x prime according to the actual origin we started with? Five, negative two. And where is y prime? Did we change it? No, we did not change that point. That was our point of rotation. So 3, 1. That did not change. So those are your points for your segment image. Any questions there? <coughs> All right. So now we do compositions. So we're going to do two transformations, one at a time. Draw the results of the composition of isometries. Triangle KLM has these vertices. So the first thing we need to do is draw that triangle on our grid. So let's draw a triangle KLM. the pre-image drawn. All right, now it says first transformation is a rotation of 180 degrees about the origin. 
So let's state that rule. What is that rotation rule for 180 degrees? Negative x, negative y. Good. Opposite of x, opposite of y. So you can use your patty paper, but you can also just apply the rule to the points you have. So k opposite of x opposite of y turns into what? Negative 4, 1. L turns into? Negative 5, 2. And M turns into? Negative 1, 4. So then we can plot those points. And it's just as easy as the patty paper. So negative 4, 1. Negative 5, 2. Alright, and then just remember with our compositions, do we do the next transformation or reflection across the y axis? Do we do that for the pre image or the prime? The prime. Very good. So we're going to take these points and what's our reflection rule for y axis? Opposite of x and y. For the axes, you can also, instead of applying the rule, what can you do with the axes? Equidistant. Equidistant. Good. Okay, so you can also just look y-axis, equidistant to the other side. Don't forget your double primes for the second image. And then we need to write the points down, the vertices for the double prime. So that would be, k double prime is what? 4, 1. L double prime? 5, 2. And M double prime? 1, 4. There you go. It looks nice and pretty like that. Any questions? Okay. All right, flip it over, last page. Okay, reflect triangle JKL across the x-axis first, and then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So first thing we need to do is graph triangle. So let's plot our free image. I got the pre-image drawn. Okay, it says <coughs> reflect across the x-axis. What's that reflection rule? We want to go across the x-axis. Same x, opposite y. Good. So we can apply that rule to the points. We can also, for the x-axis, do what? Equidistant. Okay. So L, is that going to change? Yeah. No, good. So L prime is right there. K prime. K prime. And then we need the points. So what's J prime's point? 
one comma two K prime four two L prime. Good. Did not change. Three zero. Alright, we're going about the origin now. What's that rule for 90 degrees counterclockwise? Negative y. Opposite of y comma x. So let's write the rule down. And apply the rule to the prime points. So if we apply the rule opposite of y x to j prime, what do we get? Negative 2, 1. Ah. Apply the rule to k prime, what do you get? Negative 2, 4. And apply the rule to l prime. 0, 3. Good. So let's plot those points over here. Nice and pretty. Any questions there? What about um, are there any questions on the x-axis the one from the other notes? Yes. Okay. Any other questions? All right, last one. We are reflecting triangle PQR across the positive horizontal or positive diagonal, and then we're rotating it 90 degrees clockwise about the origin again. So let's first plot PQR, the pre image. First thing it wants us to do is reflect over the positive diagonal. What is that rule for the positive diagonal? Y x. Good. You just flip them. Okay. So if we flip the y and the x for p, what do we get for p prime? Negative two five. What about Q prime? Negative 4, 1. And R prime? 1, 2. Can we do equidistant for a diagonal? No. Okay, you got to follow the rule there. So let's plot our primes. questions yet? Okay, now we're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise this time. What's that rule? Y negative X. Good. Keep the Y, change the X. <coughs> hey, if we apply that rule to P prime, what do we get for P double prime? 5, 2. Q double prime? One four and R double prime. Good so two negative one. And let's plot that.
You have to do the double prime off of the prime, not the original. Is that what you're asking? Okay. Yes, make sure you do your double prime based on your prime points, not your pre-image points. All right, that's it. Any questions? Not yet. Not yet. All right. I should delete that recording.